Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will look at the various steps to install the Avaya Aura System Manager vApp using the vSphere client and the vCenter server. The video you are viewing will demonstrate the steps to install the Avaya Aura System Manager into a VMware hypervisor. The steps defined will be performed using the vSphere client and the vCenter server to perform the administration. The OVF wizard will be used to install the System Manager OVA file. The wizard will perform the provisioning of the network storage, defining the network interface to be used, and the management of the complete install. After the install completes, the vApp will be ready to provision the Avaya components that depend on it. I have opened the vSphere client and logged into the vCenter server, which allows for administration of all the hypervisors controlled by this vCenter. The first step is to select a hypervisor. The hypervisor I have selected will be where this virtual machine will be installed. It is indicated on the left. The next step is to select the file menu and the choice of Deploy OVF Template. The OVF Template wizard opens and the first entry is where the System Manager OVA file is located. I am using a browse button and selecting the OVA file on my hard disk. Once selected, then press the next button to advance to the next screen. The details of the OVA file are displayed. Please press the next button to advance. The licensing agreement is displayed. Press accept and then the next button to advance to the naming of the virtual machine. I have given the virtual machine a, a unique name and press next to select the storage configuration. We will use the network attached storage. I have selected the NAS unit and press next which provides a view of the available storage. Pressing next advances to the screen selecting the various network interfaces. System Manager requires a single interface to be set in this release. The management interface will be used to provide all provisioning and management functions. I am setting that interface and have pressed next to go to the IP properties screen. Enabling of all the IP parameters is accomplished in this dialog. Enter the System Manager Management IP address in the first field. Tabbing through the NetMask as a default is acceptable. Enter the default gateway on the network. Enter the DNS server. Enter the appropriate fully qualified domain name, FQDN. Lastly, completing the IP parameter setup, set the default search list for the domain. The last three entries define the SNMP v3 setup. The first entry is the username followed by the authentication protocol password twice. The last entry is the privacy protocol password entered twice for confirmation. Finally, press the next button to advance to the summary screen. This screen summarizes the previous values input. Validate the configuration. If all is correct, you would push finish. You can use the back button to adjust or to make changes as needed. I have pushed the finish button which opens a status dialog to indicate the install progress. I will return after the install completes. The install is completed successfully and I am closing the completion dialog. That concludes the actual OVA install. The next steps would be to power on the System Manager virtual machine, log into the System Manager and set up the admin password, and apply any applicable service packs. 
The system manager application can now be used to provision and maintain the applicable Avaya applications. Please refer to the published white paper for any additional next steps. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.